Hey guys, this is Rob with Atran Technical Support, and in this video I'm going to show you how to configure an Atran IP Business Gateway for SIP to PRI in under five minutes. Uh, in this case we have a third gen 900E, and I've got my PBX connected to T1 port 4, and I've got a SIP trunk coming in from my uh, soft switch. I've got all of the data configuration done on the box already, so I have two T1s coming into ports 1 and 2, uh, multi-link PPP, all that's done, but there's no voice config on the box. So we're going to start from scratch there. So the first thing we need to do, any interface that's going to uh, terminate or originate SIP or RTP traffic needs to have the Media Gateway IP primary command applied to it. So since my PPP interface is the one that is connected back to my provider, I am going to put that command on that interface. All right, then we're going to start by configuring the SIP trunk. And I'm going to put my soft switch IP in, and I'm using an IP address. You could use an FQDN as well. Um, you would need to make sure you have the DNS servers configured if that's the case. Oh, forgot the primary command. Don't skip that step. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and register my number and I, you wouldn't necessarily have to do this. I need to with the way I have my soft switch configured, but your soft switch may not require that. So I've got that number configured. And now we're going to go configure the PRI interface. So we need to start by configuring uh, interface in the fourth interface, the fourth T1 interface is connected back to my PBX. I need to create a TDM group so I can sign 24 DSOs to it which I'll be doing for a full PRI. So I configure my TDM group, no shut my interface, and then it should come right up. I do already have the PBX uh, connected, like I mentioned before, so that step is done. Then I need to go configure my PRI interface. So it's not configured yet. So configure PRI 1, and I'm going to connect it to TDM group 1 on the fourth T1, and then I need to no shut it as well. So now my physical interfaces are configured. Now I need to create an ISDN group, which will be used to tie the physical I, uh, PRI interface to the logical ISDN trunk. So I'm going to do ISDN group 1, connect to PRI 1. That's all I have to do for that. And then now I'm going to go configure my logical trunk, and that's where I will tie it to the ISDN group. So T02, type ISDN. Connect ISDN group Oops. one, and there we go. My D channels bounced, and it uh, has come back up, and all 23 B channels are in service. So lastly, we need to configure our trunk groups. So we've got group trunk SIP. I'm just going to name it SIP. You can name it whatever you want, but I need one for each trunk. So I've got one for SIP, and I'm going to put an accept dollar sign on this. And this basically tells the Adtran where to route calls based on the called party number. So it's saying that any call that we receive from the PBX, regardless of what the called party number is, send it out the SIP trunk. Actually, I need to tie that to the trunk itself. So, okay. Then we're going to go configure the ISDN trunk. going to tie it to trunk T02. And then we're going to get a little more specific here. It's usually a best practice to put a more specific uh, called party number match for the trunk going to the customer. So I've got four digit numbers coming from my soft switch. So I put accept in XXX. I could also just do accept dollar sign. But that is what I'm going to do there. All right. I think we are ready for calls. So let me do show trunk registration. And I can see that 7301 is registered. Turn on a couple of debugs. Voice summary, and that will help me see the call coming in. So I'm going to try placing a call. Oh, see, I got the invite from the soft switch. My phone is ringing behind my PBX. I answer, and the T900 sends a 200 OK back. I've got two way audio, and then we can check that with show voice quality stats active. And I can see my call up up for nine seconds. I've got no out-of-order packets, no discards, and 50 millisecond jitter buffer. Everything's great. There you go. There's how you configure an Atrium IP Business Gateway for SIP to PRI in under five minutes.